What an honor it is for me to be here tonight to welcome you to this great daily event, to the Patterson OIC family, and to all of those supporters. I am just inspired by this event. This, this is not the first time I've been in this facility. In fact, when I was Secretary of State, I used to write checks to these people. <laughs> but this is the first time I have been in this particular place for an occasion as celebrative as this particular occasion. And it's the first time we've had the names, the talent, the combination of people that are here tonight. Let's give Patterson OIC a great round of applause for bringing us together. I'm sure by now you've read the program, I've read the program, and it should be clear to everyone that I have not been invited here tonight to preach. <laughs> and I am not the keynote speaker. And I overheard someone saying, why would you invite a Baptist preacher to give remarks knowing he's going to preach a sermon? <laughs> and I want you to know that, that it is true, when I lived in North Jersey and ran around Essex County and first started out, I, um, I did have a hard time keeping my remark brief. But then, not only did I get older, but I became the father of teenagers. <laughs> and when you're a Baptist preacher and have teenagers that you drag to church, you learn how to keep it short. <laughs> they helped me one night. I was on my way to church. It was actually New Year's Eve, but we stay in church almost all night. And one of my sons said to me, Dad, what are you planning to preach about tonight? And I said, well, what would you like me to preach about? And his twin brother said, Dad, I'd like you to preach about five minutes and sit down. <laughs> And so uh, when I talked to Travis and OIC, I said, what would you like me to talk about? He said, we'd like to talk about five minutes and get off stage. <laughs> but I thought about this occasion in 35 years, and not only how significant it is to have a group of people in a city like Patterson serving their community for 35 years, but I also thought about how different our lives were 35 years ago. 35 years ago, there was no fax machine. Somebody told you you could put a piece of paper in a telephone and send it to your friend, you'd call 911. <laughs> 35 years ago, we were not using microwave ovens. 35 years ago, there were no cell phones. Well, there were cell phones. A friend of mine, when we graduated from high school, went to uh, Rawway State Prison. <laughs> and uh, once a month, they let him out of his cell to use the phone. They were the cell phone. <laughs> that was 35 years ago. 35 years ago, there was no cable television. I lived about 12 miles from here in Montclair. I remember my first television. 35 years ago, we did not have 800 TV stations. We had Channel 2, Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 7, Channel 9, and Channel 11. And if it wasn't rain outside, Channel 13. You couldn't watch TV all night. There was no BET. There was black, white, and shades of gray. And at midnight, TV went off. And if you fell asleep without turning your TV off, you woke up in the middle of the night thinking you were being invaded by outer space because of an high-pitched sound. 35 years ago, things were just drastically different. But 35 years ago, there was a Baptist preacher who was the pastor of the Zion Baptist Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Reverend Dr. Leon Howard Sullivan. And 35 years ago, his message of empowerment, his message of service, his message of sharing with the community, his message of doing something for yourself, his message of following up on the great work of Martin Luther King Jr. by not only teaching people where the fish were, but teaching people how to fish, his message of opportunities in an increasingly industrialized world was caught and his vision was received by the residents of Patterson, New Jersey. And so now 35 years later, we celebrate in his name the legacy of great sacrifices. And we're here tonight to say 35 years from now, our children should benefit from our investment. And so I'm proud tonight to be part of this celebration. And I pray that we will always remember that a great nation and a great community and a great people is not measured by the amount of money in our pockets or the size of the building that we build, or the glitter of the car that we drive, or the quality of the clothes that we wear. But rather, greatness is measured by the values that we have in our heart. 
and the extent to which we reach out and serve other people. Dr. King said everyone can be great because everyone can serve. And by your presence tonight, you are serving people who you'll never meet, but who through the service of OIC and Patterson will reach out and touch lives that will benefit future generations. God bless you, and thank you for coming. Let us now bow our heads in prayer. Eternal God, we pause now to thank you for the efforts of the OIC of Patterson, New Jersey. We thank you for the leadership of Travis Williams, for the contributions of this board of directors. And moreover, we thank you for those who have invested their time and their resources to support this great work. We pray that you might inspire all that happens tonight in this place. We pray that the young people who will perform, the elders who will speak, the poets who will share their talent, might simply motivate us to be better people. We thank you for the blessings that we have received, but we are fully aware that there are so many who have yet to enjoy full access to the resources of this nation. And so God, we pray that we might have more sane government, that we might have more serious leaders, but that we might be more sincere in our concern one for the other. Bless all that has been done and prepared for this night so that we might leave here more determined to build your people, to contribute to your kingdom, to build this nation. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you.